This is non-calculator question number seven from the May 2019 U.S. SAT. College Board gives us a rational equation and asks us to solve. Since we have four choices for the solution, we can just plug them in. Well, I'll try that first. At x equals zero, this is twice zero plus one is two, over zero plus five is five. They're asking, is that equal to one minus one over zero plus five, one over five? And that's two over five. Is that equal to five over five minus one over five is four over five? And no. So choice A is wrong. How about choice B? At x equals 2, this is 2 times 2 plus 1 is 2 times 3 over 2 plus 5 is 7. And I'm asking, is that equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 5, which is still 7? 6 over 7 equals 7 over 7 minus 1 over 7. That is true. So choice B is the correct answer. I could try C and D, but I already know I have the answer. So let's try a different approach. Some of us don't like plugging in answers, so I'll do it algebraically. I'm going to get a common denominator. I have 2x plus 2, distributing the 2, over x plus 5 equals 1 is x plus 5 over x plus 5. And I have minus 1 over x plus 5. Combining fractions, that's 2x plus 2 over x plus 5 equals x plus 5 minus 1 is x plus 4 over x plus 5. These are equal if the numerators are equal, since they have the same denominator. 2x plus 2 equals x plus 4. Subtract x from both sides. x plus 2 equals 4. Subtract 2 from both sides. x equals 2. Same answer I found before. As a third approach, I could multiply both sides by x plus 5. So I have x plus 5 times 2x plus 1 over x plus 5 equals 1 minus 1 over x plus 5 times x plus 5. x plus 5 over x plus 5 is 1. That leaves me twice x plus 1. On the right, I have 1 times x plus 5 minus 1 over x plus 5 times x plus 5 is minus 1. So that's 2x plus 2, if I distribute the 2, equals x plus 4, which is the same expression I had before. Subtract x from both sides. x plus 2 equals 4. Subtract 2 from both sides. x equals 2. So we have several ways of solving this rational equation. College Board often asks rational equations and rational functions. So it's important to be good with these fractions and review these skills. Often what we'll want is a common denominator or to multiply both sides to get rid of the denominator. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.